How this Japanese engineer gave away a trillion dollar idea for free. 1992, Japan. At Toyota, workers are scanning 10 different barcodes just to track a single car part. It's slow, it's exhausting, and it's broken. Meet Masahiro Hara, a quiet 35-year-old engineer who loves playing Go during lunch breaks. While others complain, he's staring at the black and white stones on the board. Then it hits him. What if a code could work like Go? Not just left to right, but up and down too. More data, same space. For six months, Harris studies every printed pattern he can find. Magazines, flyers, newspapers. Searching for one scanners can't confuse with text. Finally, he cracks it. Three little squares that make any code readable from any angle. In 1994, the QR code is born. His company wants to patent it and charge royalties. Hara refuses. He gives it away, completely free. People think he's crazy, but Hara believes this. If you want to change the world, you don't own it. You share it. Today, QR codes power billions of transactions every day and a $35 billion market. That one act of generosity helped build our cashless world.